you think Wilder does against Tyson Fury in that third fight? You know, he has a new, he has a new trainer with uh, uh, Malik, Malik Scott, Scott yeah. which is, you know, sometimes a new trainer is what you need, you know, to get your fire going, to prove other people wrong, you know. For me, it did take fucking me changing trainers to prove people wrong, to show that I'm still a badass motherfucker. So that's probably what he's doing. And then honestly, he has a chip in his shoulder that he wants to, you know, knock off. And I see him beating uh, um, our Fury that's fine. And if not beating him, giving him a better run for his money. Just like they were counting you out against Andy, they're counting out Deontay in this third fight. How do you see him doing it? Is he is he going to be boxing more? Because you you yeah, can you, he gets it done. It's just kind of hard to treat to to uh, uh, show old dog new tricks. But uh, that being said, man, it's the hunger that he has. He right. probably didn't train for that that one fight. He probably tra half ass trained. But now you can see he's working fucking hard. You know when 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 you when you get humbled, come on, you got to figure shit out to get to bring, get that fucking lion out of you again. So, you know, I guarantee you he's working his ass off. I guarantee that See, Malik Scott's you know, uh, pay, making a big dividend in his career right is now. Is it an edge for him that he's the one who wants to get back and the other guy is already Yeah, yeah exactly, like, yeah, exactly. You know, edge, yeah. you know, like, uh, who was it, Hagler said, it's hard to get off the, the sheet when you have silk sheets. Get off bed when you have silk sheets. And it's very true, man. Sometimes you just don't want to fucking run. You're not gonna run. Fuck it, I'm staying my ass home. Hey look, piggybacking off the Wilder, off of, off of Wilder, you managed to drop Ruiz. Do you see yourself, or do you see Wilder, I mean, doing the same? Dropping Ruiz? Yeah. Yeah, if he stays on the outside, you know, one of the things about Wilder, when I got hit, the thing about him, he's, his best power is in the snap, in the end of the punch. Right. If he's right here, I eat those shits all fucking day. <laughs> You know what I mean? But with that uppercut, he has that snap. So if he gets that snap out, it's a good night to uh, 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 for uh, Andy. That's probably why uh, uh, Fury tried to take it to him in that second fight. Smart exactly. The power. Yeah. Yeah. Because and the snap, end of the punch. You know, Wilder is a dangerous motherfucker. <laughs> Who do you think has more pressure in a Wilder uh, uh, Fury fight? Wilder, time, hands down. Who has the most pressure? Wilder, hands down, hands down. Because of the first fight, it could have gone either way. In yeah. all honesty, it could have gone either way. If he didn't knock them down, you could have said that Fury won that fight easily. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the second fight, he got his butt kicked. He got his he got his shit handed to him. So Wilder has the most to prove. Wilder has the one that the bigger chip in his shoulder because you know Fury gave it to him. All right, let's get to the bottom line. What's your prediction on the Wilder Fury fight? You know what? I'm taking Wilder, man. I'm honestly taking by Wilder. By knockout, by decision. Where, whatever, by any means, any means possible if it's by knockout if it's by disqualification whatever it is you know wilder's winning that fight man what, what do you think of that fight though jared um i think tyson win again um i think middle probably five or six rounds um i don't see it going to distance tyson's a big big dude and if he got the same weight that he had before um i definitely think he stopped him again yeah, it went five or six last time yeah, do you think yeah. it's more competitive though in those five or six uh, rounds no, only because I think Deontay Wilder, and he hard-headed. I think he don't want to listen. Just by the way he, he acted towards his coach when they stopped the last fight, it let me know that he don't think like, oh, it was for my benefit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think he hard-headed. I think he not going to listen to anybody really. So I think it's the same result. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be a 50-50 fight against uh, Fury and Wilder. That's a really exciting fight. I'm going to be there. And, you know, um, you know, uh, I know both of them really well, so I, I can't root for, for either of them. But I'm going to, you know, good luck to, to, both, to both of them. We spoke about Fury and Wilder. Who do you have in the third fight? How do you think that's going to go? Uh, I think I'm, I'm leaning more towards Fury. Uh, because uh, yeah and you know he, he got a draw the first fight which was controversy and he just got off of the couch and then um, you know he was there was his first fight back and then he won he won the second fight so um, I, I can't tell talk about all, um, the allegations and all the cheating and stuff if uh, they're doing a third fight which is kind of weird um, you know but um, maybe that was the way of Deontay getting it um, his, his, you know getting it back and um, you know, a fighter would always want to do that, so it does make sense like that. But I, I can see I'm edging it to Tyson Fury. You see the trilogy going. Uh, Wilder has that right hand. He always had that right hand. And uh, if you could land that, you're in trouble. So we got to see if you could uh, come up with a game plan where he could uh, back over that pressure and land his big right hand. Do you have a prediction on how the third fight may play out? It is with Uh Yeah. Um, 
I don't, but it did rematch. I, uh, it did rematch. I don't know. This is boxing, you know. Anything can happen. In, in, the, in the last, in the, in the fight, it's just you know, like too much strategy, on, you know. So that's what happened because to me, Tassipi is a good boxer, you know. He, he has a mo air movement, all that stuff. He has this big, he has long range. So that's the advantage for him. That's why he won the fight, you know. So it's easy. You think, you think they can make the adjustments in the, in the rematch? Does a heavyweight? Yeah, in the rematch, I know, but your uh, Tawada is going to train extra hard, you know, to put some work, to put some head movement because sometimes which, that's pretty job, you always go backwards, which is not up, like, no difference, you know, so that's that's what the problem is. But now, your Tawada needs to, like, to me, this is my opinion because it's good, I know it's going to go back to train extra hard to do a lot of work because of. Because that's free is big, you know, so he needs to put, like give him the pressure. That's why that's why you're gonna want the fight. How do I see the part three? Part two. I see part three. Um, um, I don't know. Part three. Um, part three. Um, part three. Um, um, well, you know, he, he just has to go back to the drawing boards. You know, he, he needs to be more of a um, boxer and really not abandon the things that that he should. Um, He's working on and getting sharper at in order to win fights, you know. So basically, if he can't box, if he's not using a jab, it's just gonna be all bad for him again because because Fury's a good boxer. You know? This is this is a sport of boxing. It's not the sport of you know one punch knock you out. You can't knock out everybody. I mean, you definitely not, can't knock out everybody with one punch. So um, that's not something that you should rely on. And Fury over Wilder, I, I think he's got his number, but you can never write off Wilder, he's got a punch his chance, so. Mm -hmm. Any predictions on how the trilogy would face and who would be the, the tougher of the two to face? ¿Qué tú piensas eh, que va a ganar la tercera pelea con Wilder y Joshua? ¿Qué tú piensas tú peleando con que gane de esa pelea? Con Wilder o con Joshua? Fury. Yeah, ¿quién va a ganar? Oh. Wilder y Fury, ¿quién va a ganar y cómo vas a hacer tú con oh, el Yo pienso que, ¿sabes? Wilder se puede preparar bien, pero va a ser muy difícil que le gane a Fury. Wilder could prepare very well, but it's going to be a lot tougher this time around. Uh, is that because about of mentality, Frank? Is that because of mentally hard to come back? ¿Tú crees que es con la mente que va a estar mal de Wilder o por qué crees que va a ser más difícil? Es difícil porque Wilder lo único que tiene es la derecha que tiene porque no sabe boxear. Says it will be difficult because Wilder, the one thing he has is the right hand. And he doesn't really know how to box, so when you neutralize cuando that, es, cuando se encuentra con un boxeador que no le puede dar la derecha, so, so when he encounters a fighter that he can't touch with the right hand, it's very se le dificulta, for se le dificulta la pelea. You think Wilder has the ability to make the proper adjustments and for the trilogy, or you just think I, just I like before? I don't know if I don't know if he could beat Fury, but he's going to beat mostly everybody else, only because of of his style and his punching power. You know what I mean? So to make the adjustment to to get back in the winner's circle, you know what I mean? He, he could definitely do that. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if it'll be against Fury or not. How do you think that fight plays out? Uh, you know, that's a tough one just because you know, what happened last fight, it just, you know, the first fight and the second fight, it was like totally different. And every fight's different. I, I say it all the time, but, you know, Tyson, the man's on a mission, but Wilder, he, he, he's a man, he's an animal. That guy hits hard. He, he, you know, he wants, he wants something that Tyson has, and uh, it's going to be a great fight. I, I watched him, I watched it again. I'm excited. Can, can he win the third fight, or do you think he would win a third fight, Rock? I mean, like, I'm never counting Deontay out of a fight with that right hand he got. You know, if he can land it and land it clean, I mean, clearly he can put Tyson Fury down. So I'm not really, you know, um, obviously I would make Tyson the favorite, but I wouldn't, I bet by no means would I count Deontay out. When you can punch like Deontay can punch, you're not out of a fight until you're out of the fight. What's the adjustments he's got to get done to, well, to, I mean, to win to a third me, fight? For me, I'm not, I don't really want to give away free training advice. <laughs> but for me, and I would take it to the basics. I would, I would just, off, everything off the jet, everything off the jet, and, and, and range and movement. You know, I mean, Deontay really not a real big, big guy. He could really out, out maneuver um, Tyson in that ring, but he just don't. So if he do that, I think um, he got a good shot at him. Beating him, stopping him, regaining his title. Or MD two time champion. I mean, we just saw um Anthony Joshua do the same thing. It's about right. adjustments. Right. It's about adjustments. If he can make the proper adjustment, he 
you can become two-time heavyweight champ. If you can't, then Tyson Fury going out, keep it built. Deontay Wilder, man, he going for that third fight with Fury, man. What's yeah. thinking? Um, yeah, I like that fight, man. I think that he going to be more focused than ever to try to get that title back. He's been hurt. He been, you know what I'm saying, he's been down and out dissed by everybody. Ridicule, he got rid of Mark Breland. A lot of people like, yo, you made a wrong decision. But I think he I think he focused locked in on trying to get his title back. What do you think of Malik Scott as a trainer? He got him as a head trainer. Yeah. Have you seen any of the clips that's out there? Yeah, I watched the clips. He looking good. He looking sharp. He looking sharp. You know, he looking good, man, you know. I ain't gonna hold you. He looking good, man. So I, I wanna see the fight. I'm looking forward to it. I think that it's going to be a great fight. I, think, I can't tell you who's going to win as of yet, but I think that's going to be a tough fight, man.